Next, let's set up our loading indicator. Now, the loading indicator will show up when you're making network requests. So whenever you're loading data from your backend or making an API call, those may take a little time, so a second or a few seconds. And in that time, you wanna indicate to your user that this page isn't broken or it returned empty data. You want your user to know that, hey, everything's working fine, we're just grabbing it from the network. So you can set the size of your loading indicator, your color, all the colors that we already set up, and here are all your options for the animation itself. Now, if you wanna see all of them, these are coming from a Flutter package called Flutter Spin Kit. So you can scroll down here and you can see all of the animations here. But this actually isn't all the loading indicators that you have available to you. So if you come into your UI builder here and just select any type of list, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna bind a backend query just to a dummy API we've got set up here and confirm it. Down here, you'll see that we've got this backend loading widget option. And if you twirl this open, we've got four different options. So we've got our project theme loading indicator. That's the one we just set up. We could also have a custom loading indicator. So this means we can select from those options we already have if we want something particular for a certain page. And if you're not seeing it, you can just click this view and UI builder right there. And you've got the same options as before. And you've also got a component option here. So if you set up a component in your projects, you can show that component. One option here is to do a shimmer effect. And we have a video on it that we've linked below, but this is a common UI pattern where you show the basic architecture of what will actually be loaded and it just shimmers. So you see what the UI is going to look like. So you're visually moving the user closer to the final UI. But you could also have anything in here because a component is just anything that you define, that you package up as a component. So you could have a Lottie animation or arrive animation in here. And the last option is an image. And you've got all the customization options you normally have with an image. Now, one thing to note here is you probably don't wanna set this as a network request because you're already waiting for a network request. So if you use an image here, you wanna load it as an asset. And it could be a static image or or a video or a GIF. And of course, if you wanna copy this over into other places, you can always copy the loading widget. So that's setting up your loading indicator in your design system.